Hello. Yeah, so I'm Dan Barnes, or as one critic once called me, and this is what happened when Ryan said Fred met Greggs. <laughs> like I wasn't aware that I was a bit chubby, I wasn't aware that I'm a bit bald, because people love to point that out. I am in fact your token bald comedian of the night. Uh, my children often point out to me that I look like Gru. <laughs> oh, so you know who Gru is. Some people don't. So those who don't know, basically Gru is the bad guy on Despicable Me. He owns all those little minions. And my kids say I look like him. And because of that, they buy me anything to do with minions. There's like an association. I'm like, why? Why? Because you look like Gru, we buy you this. So they're saying, because you associate something with someone, you buy them that. Now my friend, he had his legs amputated. <laughs> wow, yeah, we thought it was hilarious. <laughs> uh, no, he had his legs amputated. And I didn't buy him the saw box set for Christmas. <laughs> I bought him socks. Uh, nah, so, um, yeah, like I say, um, and he was saying about heckling, you know what? The best heckle that I ever had was at a bus stop. <laughs> Wasn't even at a gig. Uh, this is very retro, this, but you all look like you probably know. So basically, um, I'm originally from Bolton, because I know my voice don't sound like Derby. Uh, Bolton is a kind of a rough, borderland place. I'm stood at a bus stop, and this car goes by, and he winds down his window. Oh yeah, we don't do electric windows at Bolton, it's very fucking backwards. <laughs> he winds down his window and shouts, Will you start the fans, please? Boom, as it goes by. Because I'm bold and like the host of Crystal Maze. <laughs> even chase after him. So, um, yeah, so as I say, this voice is from Bolton. I don't even get sympathy for that. <laughs> Move to Derby, you have to ask, how rough is a town if Derby is an improvement? <laughs> well, where do we begin on this one? So, um, in my hometown, one of the reasons why I left was I got mugged. Oh, yeah, oh, I wasn't very happy about it either, to be honest. Got mugged. There was four of them there. Now, one thing that I got told is, if you get attacked by a bunch of people, what you want to do is knock one out. <laughs> In hindsight, masturbation was not the way to go. It did scare him off. Um, so, uh, I had to go and report it to the police. Not that! Jesus Christ! No, I had to report that I got mugged to the police. And, um, and this is where I found out how underfunded Bolton Police was, because they basically just said, can you describe the person? I went, yeah, he was about, I'd say six foot was the main one. Yeah, yeah, what did his face look like? I went, oh, um, yeah, he, he had dark hair, and he has a weird noise. Did he have glasses? No. And did he have a mustache? No. He was doing it on Guess Who? <laughs> was it Sam? No. So yeah, very underfunded up there, very involved. I got told to stop slagging the place off, but basically, if you like Mad Max films, you'll love it though. <laughs> um, so that was one reason. Uh, another reason was I got fired from a job. I'm not looking for too much sympathy here, but I, I know, I know. But I got fired from a job. Now, I worked at Safari Park. Do you, do you all know what a Safari Park is? Yeah. Yeah, I just want to make sure. It's a place where you go if you don't like your car. <laughs> um, it is, because you can't get smashed to bits. Uh, anyway, I was on the gates there, and this guy came up one day on his own. He went, can I come in? I went, uh, no, uh, you can't come in because... Is it because I'm on my own? No, it's not because you're on this. Cause it's, is it a special day? He's not letting me speak here whatsoever. No, it, it, and then he went to the one that really struck fear into me. He went, is it because I'm Chinese? <laughs> what? No, no. no. Yes, it is. You're being prejudiced to me. No, no, it's not. You're not letting me in. I'm on it. No, it's not letting. And I just couldn't speak. And in the end, I snapped. I went, no, it's because you're on a fucking motorbike. <laughs> in a summer park. Doesn't work. But he still kept making these accusations. And they go at me. So I just bottled it. I let him in. <laughs> and I found out two things. That, uh, first of all, monkeys can buy motorbikes. <laughs> and that lion's like a good Chinese. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, so got fired. <laughs> unfair. So uh, left left Derby say uh, left on seven years ago with my wife, now wife, um, married for tax purposes. Uh, yeah, we've been married, but we met in in a bar in Bolton and everything, and she, you know, and I only had one chat up line. Um, 
and it's really corny, it's really pathetic. Did you did you give a chat up line online when you did you give <laughs> Okay, fair enough, slid in your DMs. I mean considering the website was on, that sounds really dirty. <laughs> but anyway, no, no, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna pick on you, I'll really apologize. No, we met in a bar and I had one chat up line, one chat up line only, which is where you say, You remind me of a firework, and she asks why. I said, Because you lit up the room. It's shit and it's corny. It's the only one I had. So she came in and I saw her and I had a drink. I had, a, I had lots of drinks. I was pissed, basically. And I walked all over, staggered all over, really, to be honest. I went, I look. You remind me of a firework. And she said, Why? I went, Because I want a banger. <laughs> we're married now, so uh, what do I got to say? That worked. Uh, yeah, between us, we, between us, this is, we have five children. Um, and to have five children, you realise that you don't like children. <laughs> it does. Um, it's kind of like when you reach a certain point, you go, might as well give up. No, we're not going to like any of these. Uh, that, don't get me wrong, mine and mine, you know, ours, oh my Jesus, that's bad. Ours are all right. It's just, I can't stand everybody else's. They're a pain in the backside. I mean, mine call me Groove for starters. So that's as bad as it is. As it is. Uh, I mean, during, um, during lockdown, AIDS go, if you remember that time during lockdown, Anyone here have children? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't mean holding them prisoner, I don't mean kidnapping. I mean, so, so people here do have kids, yeah. So during lockdown, did anyone have to do homeschooling like I did? Yeah. Five kids fucking homeschooling is not a good. So I mean, my elder, but I did figure out something, especially my oldest one, because she said, Dad, what's the highest mountain in the world? I'm like, Google it. What's the deepest ocean in the world? Google it. What's dogging? Google. Don't! <laughs> Ask them. Promise that's the last time. No promise. Too chilly. No, it's too chilly. <laughs> it's not a winter sport, love. Winter summer. Um, Fair play, nice one. Um, so, yeah. Um, Oh yeah, that was it, and then that was it. Yeah, uh, another thing as well, by the way, just so I'm informed as well, you, so you see like, um, I'm, I'm minus the hair. I have an identical twin brother who has a full head of hair. <laughs> yeah, that's a reason it is, it's great. It's, it's so unfair. He has a full head of hair, I'm bald, yet a couple of times a year, he will shave his head to look exactly like me. <laughs> Can anyone guess why? I'll tell you why, because only one of us has a passport. <laughs> He's a git. But um, people ask you when you're when you're an identical twin, they do say like, "Oh, do you do you finish each other's sentences?" No, we don't. And go like, "Do you both feel things at the same time?" Like what? You know, you think things. That, no. Do you feel pain at the same time? No. <laughs> He's gay. <laughs> I don't feel what he feels at the same time. But when he shakes his head, obviously we have mistaken identity. Now one time I went into town and I was at a bar and this guy was chatting me up thinking I was him. I wasn't bothered, it was fine. I'm totally, perfectly fine about my sexuality and everything, so it wasn't a problem. So I texted him. I said, Luke, that's what my brother's called by the way. Luke, that guy's here that you're, you're, like, you're interested in, he thinks I'm you. I went, oh right, he says, keep him there, will do. Don't blow it for me. <laughs> <laughs> It's only so far I'll go for my brother. <laughs> Hand job. But anyway. Yeah, I mean, like, um, yeah, so he's, he's gay, I'm fine about it. I was the first one to know about it. And people said, oh, is that because of your twin thing? I went, no, it's because he had gay porn on a videotape labeled Ghostbusters 2. <laughs> Something strange in your neighborhood, who are you going to call? Big Dick Rob. <laughs> That's how I found out that my brother was gay. Um, so, where am I moving on from that one? So I moved, I moved down to Derby, as I say, for seven years. Um, anyone here like football? Yeah. Wait, who do you sport? Oh, not that fucking brain, man. <laughs> Go on, who do you sport? Who said it? Who said yeah? Go on, who Who said yeah? Who did? Yeah. You? Yeah. Who do you sport? Put a single team. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know it can't be Sheffield, because no one who likes Sheffield can support fucking, you know, football in any way. <laughs> no, I moved down to Derby, uh, Bolton fan, 
Uh, but what not, if it was great, because they've got some who do you support? Now, if you said United, you get boo or yay. Say so get Liverpool, you get boo or yay. Say so Bolton, they go, oh. <laughs> Even with the fucking head tilt every time. Oh, so we moved down there, um, living the best life down here. Some of this is brand new, what I'm saying now tonight. That's why it seems really sketchy, I'm not going to lie. Uh, so when we moved down, my daughter, my youngest little daughter, she's five years old, um, and Christmas has just gone. She wants, not long, a couple of months ago, so for Christmas she wanted a frozen doll, and apparently sticking a Barbie doll in a freezer for a week does not constitute a frozen <laughs> doll. So she cried and she cried, and I said that thing, I always vowed I would never say, I said, if you don't stop crying, do you know no next line? I'll give you something to cry about. That's what I said, I'll give you something to cry about. She didn't stop crying. <laughs> so I shot a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. Strangled it. <laughs> I didn't, we don't have a dog <laughs> anymore. Uh, so yeah, that, that was it. That was a great time, Christmas time. Yesterday, Valentine's yesterday. Valentine's. Anyone do anything good for Valentine's? Oh, no. <laughs> wow, that was a weird look. I'm not gonna lie. Is it X-rated? That's a yes. Anyway, there we go. I mean, Valentine, I'll tell you what. I'm, so Valentine's, my wife said to me, she said, um, she actually asked me what my, I'm not saying this just because you're here. This is genuinely part of my act. So my wife, she asked me, she said like, um, she asked me what sexual fantasy, because it was Valentine's Day, what sexual fantasy do you want? And I said like, oh, police woman. You know, words, dressed up in a police outfit, handcuffs, taser, I weren't so fucking keen on, <laughs> or pepper spray. I think she was getting revenge. It was basically revenge because um, I've, I've done this new thing where I was sick of it. Whenever we went shopping, she'd take forever, an absolute forever. So I put a ringtone on her phone of sex noises. So whenever she's in a shop for too long, I just ringed up. You'll soon see her come running out of that shop like a fucking bullet. <laughs> With an orgasm, like screaming. Ah! The biggest question people mostly have is where did I find that sex noises on the internet? <gasps> Ask them. Anyway, um, I know I keep taking I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I am sorry. Now, when we, when we met, our first date, funny enough, was uh, we went to the cinema years ago um, and we watched Magic Mike. Have you seen Magic Mike? Woo! Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's definitely yeah, something like that. Magic Mike, uh, and obviously you know what it's about. I didn't. I haven't watched it, not a clue. I'll tell you something, no fucking wizards. <laughs> I was like, she came out and she was like, you don't look happy about that. I went, well, no. So why? I went, well, I like films where I know what they're about from the title. So Planet of the Apes is about a planet of apes, and Snakes in the Plane is about snakes in the plane, and Snatch. Yeah, I went, oh, <laughs> that was disappointing. But that, that was our first date. Um, but as I say, it's all gone well. We've been together now for years and everything, and we love each other lots. We have to, we've got kids, we've got no fucking choice. <laughs> um, anyway, so let me see what time we're on. Oh, we're on a little 15. God, I don't think we're over in five minutes. So, um, one of the things, another reason why I think she wanted revenge on me was from holiday last year. Holiday last year, we went to Benidorm. I'm also in Benidorm, she's in the pool with my son. And she's walking up to my son with a football, ready to launch it at him. Walking up a distance, she picks it up, throws it, full fuck up, boom, off his head, there it went. Wasn't him. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not, that's not the worst bit. I watched her do it. I could have stopped her at any moment. Oh no, please stop. Um, I'm literally, I, I, do, I, do have a, I do regret it. I do have one regret, one regret. I didn't film it. That was it. Was everything nowadays gets filmed, no matter what. Someone falls, film. I've seen people fall, and someone say, oh, can you do that again? I said, it's on camera. That's the way it is nowadays. I mean, I'm filming this right now, so if I die on stage, literally, that will go viral. And if I just die on stage, you don't laugh at me jokes, and that's even worse. But I'd rather be known for something. But, um, and, wow, that was totally off. So um, I'm going to leave you with, because I've done some of this a bit faster than I expected, to be honest. I do apologise, Daniel, but this is going to take five minutes of this story anyway. So I told you about my five-year-old girl, didn't I? So she's a lovely little girl and everything, and we went on a train. Now, some of you may know, some of you may not know. If you don't know, this is a quick tip. 
Actually, before that, I'll give you another tip that I realised the other day. Tips of done. This is something you should have. So, if your partner is expecting a child, and you don't like the name that she's picked for that child. So, for example, she picked the name of Sarah. I went, ooh, no, I dated a Sarah. So she picked a different one from that. <laughs> Katie, nah, I dated Katie. And basically, I sent like a right slap by the end of it. I was like, no, no, dated that one, dated that one, dated that one. Got the name I wanted. Second child, did the same again. Did all the names, ended up being a boy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's name him Peter. I went through a phase of college love. <laughs> That's new, that's new. Anyway, no, I've heard that one, sorry about that. Anyway, I was, I was saying, my daughter is five years old. So if you want to train for free, you need to be four. So what do you think I am gonna, my honest nature person is gonna do? Say she's four, yeah, it's a lie. <sighs> Terrible parent. Come on, parents lie all the time. We said there's fucking Santa Claus for years. <laughs> anyway, still do. Um, so I said to her, you're four. Daddy, no, I'm five. No, 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 you, you're four. I'm five, Daddy. Look, when we get on this train, you're four. I'm four. So she's looking at me like that, and I'm thinking, I really trust you. So we get on the train, and she goes and finds a seat and everything, and I comes along as well. All the time I'm thinking she's gonna fucking rumble me. Sits down, and the guard comes towards us, looking like Hitler. And I'm like, oh shit. Gets closer. Still not like Hitler. She even had a mustache. And, uh, comes up. Says, tickets please. No, I passes on my ticket. Where's hers? She's, she's four, doesn't need one. Doesn't trust my face, just because I look like I'm gonna rob a little old lady. Doesn't trust my face. How old are you, little girl? I'm shitting it, I am real shitting it. I'm four. In my head, I'm celebrating. I can't do it, though, like. She goes, oh, it's cute, when are you five? When I get off the train. <laughs> I fucking hate this. Well, anyway, you won't be fantastic, Chef. You've got a fantastic night ahead of you. Thank you very much. I'll be damn bad.